I was asked to talk about you know, how we got to where we are now and uh, how we plan to get out of it and perhaps talk just a little bit about the future. Okay? Um, you're all familiar with the news. We've been, uh, it's been well publicized that we're facing a financial crisis. There's a couple of reasons behind that. But I want to start with this idea that the Postal Service, even the most recent version of the Postal Service, yes, we're 235 plus years of history, since 1970, we've undergone at least two major transformations that would just astound most business school and public policy students. We went from the post office department to the Postal Service, a a pure government uh, organization with a cabinet head for a leader to a self-sufficient break-even mandate organization. We also went from manual, manual handling of almost everything to a very highly automated system. And we did that while the system was in motion. It was an incredible achievement that is kind of in the background of most people's consciousness. Most people don't realize what it took to get us successfully through the last 35 years. It was an incredible amount of organizational transformation. We actually have that in our DNA as we face the challenges of this particular future. Our challenge is, of course, that we've got to do both a business model change and an operational change in a shorter period of time than the 35 years we've we had under postal reorganization in a much less forgiving environment. Wanting, since we are so much in the background, we're taken for granted in many ways, but when you look at some of these numbers, you come to realize we are huge. And one of the things that gets lost in some of the discussions about the future of the Postal Service is that even if we all agree with the assumption that mail volume and revenues will continue to decline over the next five to ten years, in five to ten years we will still be a huge organization and we will be the center of an enormous amount of economic activity. In five to ten years we are still likely to be a Fortune 500 company if we were listed on the Fortune 500 list. We would be the largest fleet owner. We would have, probably, even if we got rid of all the post offices that anyone would want to get rid of, we would still have more retail locations than anybody else. So, when we talk about the future of the organization, five, ten years from now, we're talking about the future of a huge organization that will still be the center of an enormous amount of economic activity in the country. 